Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us again today. We are back, this time with a 28 pound box from shopgoodwill.com. And if you can see right here on the box, it says 28 pounds loose. They weren't kidding. Let's, <laughs> let's show you. Here it is. Oh my, unlined. At least the box didn't come crushed. So we have a good heads up start. All right, let's see what's in it. We'll be right back. All right, let's kick off this box with some bracelets. Boy, we have the gamut of bracelets. Look, oh, take a look at these. All right, let's start with some of my favorites. Uh, this is certainly a gorgeous piece. It has the green cabochons, almost look like, you know, like green amethyst, praseolite. And then it has rhinestones and it has some few smaller rhinestones that I think may have been replaced. But the fold over the clasp, just the, just the style I think is gorgeous. This reminds me of definitely kind of a 70s bracelet, you know, where you would take the form and you would, uh, you know, attach, you know, trinkets or charms. And this one happens to have very tiny little gemstone pieces. Tiger's eye, it looks like some amethyst and some quartz, really, really cute. This one is very cool. It looks like they took pennies and form them so they're concave. Let me flip it over. And it says one cent and it has, you know, the details of the coins. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So that's how it started. And then, I mean, it just, it was just awesome. Look at this stretch bracelet with all of these rhinestones. Are these not to die for? This piece is to die for. Then they got a little bigger with this stretch. Look at these. I mean, these are gorgeous. We ended up with a beautiful rhinestone and blue faux stone uh, by J. Crew. This is a gorgeous piece. This is unbranded, but absolutely amazing with kind of like these faux moonstones and kind of that, you know, that antiqued look i mean it just pops like nobody's business i love this then we had everything from the hematite and this is it's sticking to everything these are great pieces of coral and to me these look like faux turquoise two colors of glass beads and that has uso isn't that cute beautiful mother of pearl beads and they're dainty it's just it's just beyond sweet this is stretch probably stretch within an inch of its life but it's hanging in there all these great glass cat's eye and a nice little um, the ribbon charm this is a clamper and it has this beautiful red enamel and these little flowers with rhinestones so that is that is quite an unusual piece, as is this one. It looks like leather on the outside, and it's one of the pinch ones where, you know, that opens here. On, and the writing on the inside says Italy, and it has MOD period, DEP period, and then it has 24 karat gold plated. So, yay, kind of interesting, right? Okay, this clamper, oh, this kind of has like the inlay mother of pearl, but it feels plastic, so it feels very faux. It has this great design. It has a lot of nice snap to it, a lot of depth. I mean, it's a nice piece. All right, this one is certainly one of my favorites. It has glass beads, a few pieces of stone, some wooden beads, some metal beads, this beautiful, dragonfly that's inlay and the bead here has the writing is I get by with a little help from my friends so certainly a Beatles reference there that was very nice I mean everything in here seemed to be really really neat this clamper has rhinestones has like the snake pattern here and then it has the fold over safety catch so you know I mean we had the plethora and this one is Ann Taylor, so we, you know, we ended up with another marked piece. This one is marked too, and I have not seen this. Look at the, 
the flat, you know, the satin finish, and it is a clamper, and it has kind of this concave right here, and I don't know this brand. It's Clippa, C-L-I-P-A. So I'm gonna have to look that up, but it makes kind of this triangle, you know, this right angle right there. It's kind of neat, right? And then how sweet is this bangle? Well, it's not really bangle, it's a clamper. But look at the really nice detail on the ribbon. And, you know, and it's not exactly round, so if you have kind of a smaller wrist, I think this would give you a little more stability with that. And then look at this clamper. This one is large and in charge. Boy, that thing has some snap, let me tell you. All right, let me show you a few more. Okay, this one with the silver tone has all of this negative space. So when you wear that, you see all of the flesh tone through that. I just really, really enjoy that. I think it adds personality. And this is a really beautiful piece. It has all of the little rhinestones on this side and the faux stone on this side. You know, it's fashion, but it is nicely done. Two really, really beautiful stretch. In fact, this one with kind of this pebble tone, we do have a necklace coming up that will match that. This is really sweet with kind of like the X design here for love. Nice stretch, nice, you know, presentation uh, in a stretch. A lot of times you lose that with a metallic bracelet, but I think that one was really nicely done. Same thing with this one with the negative space again. You know, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's simple, but very classy. And this is a nice, elegant bangle. Nice clamper here. Uh, the stones look black. If you hold them under the light, they are in fact red. And you know, it just has a heft to it that you know you can appreciate. This one too is absolutely gorgeous. It has a satin kind of motif here. And you know, I didn't. I didn't know this was Mark. Let me take a look. Well, no wonder I like it. It's Monet. So, uh, yeah, definitely like that. So it has the little clamp right here in the, in the front. And then the polished and the satin finish. Love that piece. Love this one, too. You know, kind of that hammered copper. So we have the inside. And the flower motif really nice embossed really pretty and then we ended up with some just fun uh, plastic you know this one just says love and it's um, you know definitely relief in here so that's beautiful I love this this is so funky cool that is so boho tag you can see where the tag still was I don't think anybody ever wore that couple of really pretty plastic you know, I'm a sucker for plastic beads, and they have a nice pop to them. This one, I think, might be faux leather. Doesn't really have, like, too, too much of a smell, and looks really, really clean. Another little tiny leather piece. This is beautiful. It has this great little glass bead and a few other little beads throughout. This is just kind of like a little fashion piece. Then we have certainly more on the, uh, you know, almost kid, you know, kid X spectrum. And this one does look like a child's bracelet. This is faux, but it has a really, really nice little, um, it's not magnetic. It's almost like a tension clasp in here. But I thought that was very interesting for, you know, a faux pearl. That's really pretty. These have really cool little pop to them, but they're muted, so I really like that too. As Lauren would say, kind of a slinky kind of bracelet. Uh, if you, this is not your style, a lot of great beads right here. And I did wanna comment really quick. Um, thank you so much for all of the good wishes and everything. Uh, the Miss is doing remarkably well uh, for having surgery, and she appreciates all the good thoughts, so thank you so much for that. So we have that. This is gorgeous. You know, I am a sucker for, you know, kind of made pieces. And 
Whether this is commercial or not, it's still beautiful. It has a great presence. I just love that. These are like polished wood. It's really interesting to me. I like that color. It's not quite black, but ooh, it's got a great color to it. Nice little shell. Hey, we have to have something shell. Always have to have something shell. Great colors in this pattern. Also stretch. This is beautiful. I mean, these are gorgeous. And then this great wooden and seed. I believe those are seeds. And then the beautiful carved wooden roses. Also stretch. So nice, nice. And the last bracelet we had out of the screw is kind of this industrial hefty twisted bracelet. I mean, that's some heft right there. The first set of smalls, pretty impressive. I love this box. We have this just whimsical elephant and a beautiful green rhinestone. A lot of pop here. It's, it's nice rhinestone. Uh, at first, I thought maybe these could have been real diamonds, but I think they're a very nice simulant. I don't think they're like a, you know, really inexpensive paste. They have a lot of nice pop. The chain definitely feels uh, like a nice stainless steel. It's not marked, but it has a nice feel to it. Uh, the double heart, these are rhinestones, which is a really cute little standard chain. And the nice find here, the tree of life on this copper looking chain. And these look like either peridot chips or peridot colored glass. Nice hefty little piece here. And our last set of smalls, some really nice pieces here too. A heart very much in a Brighton S kind of pattern with the little hang tag that says fearless. Perfect for this time of year, the little uh, Dracula fangs, little vampire fangs. You know, the little cube, which I think is supposed to look like a piece of pyrite or, you know, full skull. This little horse is adorable with the chain that moves for both the mane and the tail. I think that's adorable. This almost looks like a little, uh, you know, like a gun shell, you know, like a shotgun shell. And it has a tiny piece of white quartz. Very cute. This has a shell backdrop with some applique on it and a little green bead. Very boho. And this one is like a mini statement piece with the black rhinestones, the clear rhinestones, and this nice drop. So a really nice little group here too. And yes, yeah, some of these medium pieces look just as great as the smalls. All right, this one has beautiful enameled yellow flowers with rhinestones in the middle. I, normally, I do not keep anything with wear. This has one really little issue on like a jump ring. I don't think that's a problem, but look at these flowers. It has the little drops with the faux pearls and the little crystals. It's just a really fun little piece. Uh, very spring. This one has the double chain, very dainty here. And then this would be your focal point in the front. I mean, very classy here. Very minor looking uh, statement piece. Look how small these are. I mean, here's my hand. A beautiful purple and these great little rhinestones on the top end here. A lot of articulation. Beautiful little piece. Uh, you know, not so small, but not too big. Perfect size. And this is a double strand. It has the, like the faux moonstone and the faux amethyst, and this chain is fabulous. It has these spots, these flat little stations, and the light just picks up on that, and the sparkle factor, oh, is fabulous. Okay, and these three, ooh, some of my absolute favorite. All right, these are glass bees. We've got black, the amber color, the faux pearls, and almost like this rose quartz look. And the three strands are dainty, but you know they're there. You can feel the coolness. I just, oh, I love this one. And this one here has the faux pearls and the stations that are completely encrusted in tiny rhinestones. And these pop so strongly. Look at that. They are so small and they have such sparkle factor. It's just unreal. And, okay, if you've watched us at all, me and a glass feed, come on, we all know how this is going to go. 
it is a long strand and the majority of the strand has all of these tiny little glass beads and then we have a few of the stations with a little bit larger here i mean just look at this on the skin i mean that just oh ooh, i love these three these next two are so bold large and in charge this one is certainly one of the favorites uh okay we have silver tone but when you turn it we have this row of gold tone going through it and it's subtle but not so subtle all at the same time and it is really substantial and then this one almost has like that mr d thing going on this is thick and then the toggle is inside the you know the little lock so that is fun 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 this one here oh my word i it is very david yerman um you know it has the magnetic clasp nice and thick like that uh, very large wheat chain beautiful finding i mean you don't need anything with that but you could usually find a pendant in your collection that would probably go fabulous with that. Here are the two pebble tones that I said would go with the piece from earlier. Uh, I'm not real crazy about either of the cords, but both pendants are gorgeous. And listen, we've got some clankability. Double strand on the bottom, nice thick chain on top. You know, it has a lot of color play off of the silver. I think this would be, you know, wonderful both daytime, nighttime. And then this is like hmm, 30 inches. Look how long this is. And these stations are glass. They're nice and cold to the touch. Tons and tons of faceting. That checkerboard facet right on top and they're double-sided. It's just, oh, it's wonderful. You've got the gold tone, silver tone, and all of that fire. We found a piece of Brighton. Yay! Um, you know, the Miss, if you watched our last thrift haul, uh, the Miss found some Brighton in the bottom of the bins at the Goodwill outlet, which was like sacrilege. I'm telling you, Brighton in the bottom of the bins. Oy! But she saved it. We rescued it. It's gorgeous. It's going to be for sale, um, as will this one. Uh, it has like almost like a rose quartz look and this great little drop here. It has the signature heart clasp and it's marked Brighton in the back of the pendant. And it's on like that leather kind of corded business we got going on here. So that was a great find and that is just gorgeous on the skin. So we had that one. And then this one is a very nice heavier silver chain and it's marked 925 in Italy. And this pendant is huge. It's not magnetic. It's also not marked. It has this weird kind of mark in the middle in there. And I can't read it. It's kind of muddled. So I don't know if this nice big stone is actually real or simulated. Uh, either way, the chain itself is kind of heavy duty. So that's nice. So I'll take this in to see if uh, what's going on with that business. You know, see what's going on there. Let me show you what else we got. All right, let's get into some of the goodies. All right, the very first thing is this really huge bangle here. And it, on the inside, right here, it has hand wrought sterling. And then it has somebody's little mark right there. And I can't tell what that is. So you can, um, this thing's hefty. You can bet we are going to test all of it. These have Mexico 925, so eh, we've been kind of sketchy with Mexico lately. Um, these are beautiful. I think maybe aqua could be sky blue topaz. These are marked sterling, and these are marked sterling. They both have black stones, you know, so we'll have to see what that is. This is a beautiful pendant, so I believe that's probably going to be a topaz. This is also marked 925, this little one here, this square. And it's probably like uh, Bella Luce or one of the simulants. We have four rings, all marked. Love this one. This has got great 
composition. And this one has the CW mark, so, or the MC uh, for Marcella. Beautiful marked 925 Italy, and the pendant with what looks like a topaz is also marked 925. Okay, before we move on to the next group, I just have to show you some of the fun, funky things that came in this. This is still new with tags, and I think this is like a keychain or a purse charm. So you have the sun, the moon, and the stars. Nice and heavy silver tone. And then this keychain has this kind of cool resin bead, and then it has these glass beads, a wooden fish, a coin, some beautiful frosted glass, and then we have kind of like these art looking glass beads. I mean, this is just so cool and funky all at the same time. I love that. Okay, uh, this is beyond cool. It says Art Pewter Made in Scotland, and it's a pin, it's a brooch, but look at this sword. And then there's the little Made in Scotland there too. So how cool is this thing? I just, okay. And then, all right, we have to talk, okay? You know how I feel about belts in these things, but I have to show you this belt. Um, look at all of the rhinestones that are in this belt. The whole belt looks like this. And then the end has the beautiful single rhinestones on top of, you know, the chain where you can hook into, and then this great little finding at the, well, this great little cluster at the end. So you have all of these rhinestones, and we're not talking small rhinestones. I mean, these are nice looking, and look at these. And they are all prong set, so they would be easy to pop out of this thing. So here, let's fold it up again. Let's do it, I can show you. Look. Look at all the rhinestones here. Okay, even I can't be mad at this. And moving on, you know what? We had a lot of responses to what everybody's favorite type box was and boho was huge. This box didn't disappoint in that direction either. Let's talk about some of the natural stone. Uh, you know what, this is gorgeous. I mean, I love this clasp. It kinda has that grapevine look to it and the silver findings, the little tiny cream color beads, and then these beautiful tumbled rocks. I think it's a tree agate or a moss agate. A very, you know, festive. I think this would be great at Christmas time. This one here is like a choker. I mean, ooh, it's tiny. Uh, the mist can wear it, so you have to have a very kind of, you know, very thin neck to wear this. Uh, this looks like a really nice disc of maybe unikite. It was really cool. And this looks like uh, mahogany obsidian. Um, and I have a feeling the rest of that is the same. So that was kind of really neat. Okay, this piece, I love this piece. These look like pyramids. And I'm thinking, especially with this bead here, you know, maybe picture Jasper. Um, and I don't know what these green stones are. Maybe something dyed? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe like a dyed howlite? Uh, very cool. Uh, very boho. I mean, it's, you know, and then this big bead here. It's heavy. It has a great, you know, a great feel to it. I love that. Okay, I don't know if this is like a, uh, you know, like a bumblebee jasper or if it's a dyed stone. Um, really cute little stones. I think somebody would probably take that apart, you know, do a bunch of stuff with it. And these, I think some are glass and some are stone. Some definitely have the wrong kind of swirling to be natural. Uh, and then others look definitely like stone. So those are really cute too. But really, I think both of these two, probably somebody would take apart and, you know, do crafty things with those. Okay, I love this one. You know, like the Dalmatian stone. And these have a great feel to them too, these black. I don't think they're black glass. I think they're some form of black stone bead. But you know, these tubes, you know, and then the donut. I mean, this is a really, really pretty piece too. Okay, and this is a multitude of stones. Let's kind of like put this around here. 
I mean, it has quite a few different stones. I mean, we've got the black, maybe like an obsidian, and then it looks like some jasper, and it looks like we have quartz. And, you know, then we have the red chips, so, and then the green chips. So, you know, kind of mixed bag with this one, but beautiful for this time of year. Oof, I think that would be fantastic. Okay, and then we have this. This one has some glass beads, looks like maybe some quartz beads. And then, you know, this piece here, which kind of has the coloring of like bumblebee jasper, but not quite the design. So I'm not, mm, I don't know, but there was still a price tag on it. So whoever the artisan was who made this, they wanted $18 for it. So I love the color. This time of year, I think that's fabulous. And what box wouldn't be complete these days without some hematite? And the glass cat's eye beads inside these. I think that was just, that was a fun addition. It was just fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one has some peacock color pearls. And, you know, these kind of like uh, AB mini, mini crystal beads. Just, you know, really fun little piece here too. Okay, this thing. Mm. I'm not sure what exactly this is. I have a feeling with these look like striations, so I have a feeling it's dyed bone, but I don't know. Listen to the... I don't know. The sound doesn't quite sound like bone, and then it kind of does, so I'm not sure where the clankability factor is you know, working on here, but... It's really, really, regardless, it's really, really cool looking with this time of year. I think this would be a wonderful addition to the wardrobe. Okay, I don't know what on earth these are. <sighs> this nice dark color, and then it kind of has the brown tones in them too. Um, these stones are carved, and I, they still could be glass, but they feel really heavy to be glass. And they all have little faces carved in them. I don't know if you can see that, which is kind of really neat. And they are real pearls. At least they are very, very gritty pearls in between each of the stations. So I thought that was a very unique looking piece. Definitely fall also, right? I, I, I said, hmm, this looks like snowflake obsidian. Isn't that the, just a sweet little heart? This here, ugh, you know, I'm not so crazy about this cord, but really beautiful little heart. I think that would make a great pendant, you know, on a really nice gold chain. I think that would pop really nicely. And then we have this one. Wasn't this box fabulous? Look at this stuff. Um, okay, I'm not sure. This looks an awful lot like uh, the one that we thought maybe uh, ruby and zoazite, and it kind of has that same look with the some of the green having that kind of purpley red in it. So I don't know. I do know, however, that these gorgeous pink and red foiled beads, these glass beads are to die for. Look at these beads. But then, you know, I'm a bead girl, so I just, oof, I love that one. Okay, and then we weren't definitely shorted here on these look like carved bone and then we have a few that kind of look like quartz and then uh, this looks like glass to me and then we have like more carved bone so that that's quite you know quite a different piece right here I thought that was very interesting and then this one also, a lot of carving going on here. Delicate, some are more delicate than others, and then you have the, the two strand at the bottom and the single strand at top. So, a very unique composition. And then this one has a little bit of everything. We have some stone chips, some pearl chips, we have some glass beads. So, you know, this is not my favorite um, material here with the memory wire and like it's bent here. So I think somebody would really enjoy uh, taking this off for the bits and pieces because there are some gorgeous pieces in that.
carrying on with kind of that boho theme, we have a great little pendant and wooden beads. This one is a little asymmetrical, has beautiful shell and glass beads. So we have the, you know, a little bit different on this side. This one has these cute little red beads on this side for that one. So, you know, either you love that or you hate that. I don't, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot in the middle. Either people are with asymmetrical or they just are not. A cute little dyed shell, mini pearl. I mean, how fabulous. Nice hunk of like abalone. A glass bead, maybe a turquoise bead. Um, you know me and the cord, you know, it is what it is. I love this wooden piece. Look at this one. Ugh, that is fabulous. I love that composition. Seed beads, dyed shell, very, very classic looking boho piece. Lots of multi-strand. The, that orange coral color, very in. Okay, and look at these. I'm not sure what kind of shell these are. Maybe maybe it's a, just a dyed shell. I don't know, but very cool. And it has these big honking, like brass. I don't know, are these kind of like a, almost like fishing, like a leader? I don't know, but they're heavy as all get out. And then those great hunks of gorgeous, gorgeous shell. Oof, I love that one. Speaking of which, I believe this multi-strand gorgeous piece, the way these look, I think these are dyed mother of pearl because you could see where, you know, it would have been that extra sparkly spot. So I really think, and these are so smooth to the touch. Oh, I love this piece so much. It has, oh, it feels good. It has a lot of character, this piece. I'm loving that one too. And then we had two really long ones. Okay, this one, I mean, this is pro a multi-strand and it's probably a good 42 inches maybe. So we have the gray shell, beautiful little glass beads, silver findings, long, 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 and then bigger pieces of shell down at the bottom. And the layers, you know, are all very similar in length. So it has a lot of presence going on. A lot of shimmer, love that one. And then this is just flat out fun, funky boho. Dyed shell, you've got these multicolor tubes that are, they're like kind of like fabric, sort of, kind of. Very unique, but that is beyond. And we once again found pins and brooches. Let's talk about the little sets that we found because I, this just doesn't happen, so this was great for us. All right, this is a plastic brooch, and it has, you know, definitely that older kind of V style. And these are prong set, which is, I thought, kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen one that way in any of our boxes. So this is plastic, and these are clip-on earrings. One of the earrings does not clip very well, but I think some crafty person could certainly fix that. We have the little rhinestone flag and the little matching clip-on earrings. These are interesting. These are like wire wrapped. So we have kind of like this, you know, leaf or a kind of, reminds me of a boutonniere and like a moth or butterfly. And then the matching clip-on earrings. And then this one looks like string art with kind of that same thing going on. And then we found this other pair. This is the silver pair. One looks like it's kind of trying to unravel, but there again, I think some glue and somebody can make that be all right again. And the last of our pins, this beauty, this nice sparkler is by Carol Lee. These very intricate leaves reminds me something maybe from like you know Art Deco, but not quite that style, but it kind of has that style. This one's not marked. Uh, the beautiful enameled kitty with her heart on her collar. Uh, she's marked Vero. Really nice little enameled pin here. Uh, breast cancer awareness. Uh, okay, ladies, I don't, you know, I don't want to nag. Um, get checked. 
If you're due for your mammogram, have it done. Do your monthly exams, and by all means, if it's time for your doctor's appointment, please, please go make sure you keep these appointments. We had one of our own community, uh, Lorraine at Lilliputian Place. Look her up. She's uh, chronicling her journey. Uh, she was late getting her mammogram. She decided I better go. She did, and she had to have a double mastectomy. So please, please, please get checked, okay? So the, the beautiful one here. This is certainly an older one. Let me turn it over for you. You can see how far past, you know, this thing goes. And I, I don't know what they were thinking with that design. Why would you want to poke yourself? I don't know. But anyway, this is a great, great little group. And ladies, please, please. All right, gang, there is so much good stuff in this box. I didn't want to have to do it, but we're going to have to break this up. So stick around. Please come back for part two. So much great stuff left in this box. It's unbelievable. I love this box. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Please come back for part two. Thanks so much.